So my brothers and sisters, we have a lot to learn. Primarily, we need to know وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةِ الرَّسُولًا أَنِ اعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ وَاجْتَنِبُوا الطَّاغُوتِ That is the most powerful message we have. Allah says, we sent to every nation messengers to warn them, to tell them to worship Allah alone and to protect themselves from the devil and the devil's plan and anything that is earning the anger and the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala top of the list is association of partners with Allah. That is the top of the list. And as I mentioned today in the Jumu'ah talk, Wallahi, a very important point. Ask yourself, why did Allah send the messengers? He sent the messengers to show us how to worship Him. That's what He sent the messengers for. So if we believe that and we understand that, Allah sent the messengers to show us how to worship Him, Will we be able to engage in innovation? The answer is no. Because Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the best of creation, was held until he was known as the last Nabi. If Allah wanted, he could have sent him to another nation. But Allah sent him to us in order to show us how to worship Allah and in order to give us the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I come up with an act of worship that I claim is going to please Allah, and if Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam did not teach it and did not do it, then I am undermining this great messenger, either by claiming indirectly that he forgot to teach us something, or that I know better than him, or that he has deceived Allah by not conveying a message that was supposed to be conveyed. Na'udhu Billah. May Allah protect us from that type of behavior and from innovation. So this is why when people talk of innovation, remember brothers and sisters, people will be divided into two categories. Those who get upset. Well, look at what happened to those who got upset in the past. When you are called towards Allah and His Rasul, what happens is people become upset. Why is this man saying this is an innovation? Ask yourself, is it an innovation? If it is, drop it, cut it out. No matter how tasty it was. No matter how tasty it is. An innovation needs to be dropped and cut. Because look at those in the past who innovated. What happened? They were considered as people who were not obedient to the messengers. They were ultimately destroyed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What was the point of sending the messenger? If I knew better than the messenger what to do? So this is why shaitan comes to us just like he did to the previous nations and he tries to massage us and to make this innovation so sweet. No, but I'm only doing this, you know, I'm only doing that. It can only be good. You know, it is only that. One day somebody asked me a very interesting question. They said, I have been afflicted with a certain type of a sickness. And I have heard that if you read a specific word, I think it was 3,333 times you will be cured. But that must be read within 10 minutes. Wallahi, I laughed and I laughed and I laughed. And I thought to myself, brothers and sisters, you make dua to Allah. It's more powerful than anything. You raise your hands and say, Ya Allah, I have a problem, help me. It's so powerful. You are calling out to your maker. But make sure you are on one page because the hadith speaks of a man who is desperate, who calls out to Allah, but malbasuhu haram, mashrabuhu haram, ghuddiya bil haram, fa anna yustajabu li dhalik. You know, his clothing is haram, his food is haram, his drink is haram. Allah says, how does he expect us to respond to that call? Still sometimes out of the mercy of Allah, he responds. Today after Jumu'ah, one of the brothers was telling me, that imagine if a person were to be saving up all his life, his money, and he saved, according to him, he has saved two, three million. And he goes to the bank and he says, what is my balance? And they say, your balance is zero. How will he feel? Sometimes we as human beings, our deeds are so far from the deen. And we have innovated and associated partners with Allah to the degree that we think we've done so much good. But when we go to see the bank balance, it is zero. Allahu Akbar. Why? Allah says, Akhsarina a'malan. Those who are at greatest loss of their deeds. They lost their deeds. Brother, you did. Look at Surah Al-Ghashiyah. Have you seen the one who has cheated? 
Allahu Akbar, being cheated and cheated. Allah describes how they would have done so many deeds and their faces would be humbled, but they will be going to hell. Why? Because of the same reason. They wasted their deeds in one way or another, either by association of partnership with Allah or by innovation or by having wronged someone. They did not learn a lesson from the people of the past. And they did not see what happened to the people of the past. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all lesson 